Hello everyone. I was wanting to make a video on how to install the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3DS homebrew applications hacks. This was something that I had trouble with, uh, was not made very clear, and I had trouble finding it online, and I just was able to figure it out myself and wanted to help anybody else out that was having the same issue as it's something that I've not found readily accessible. The first thing you're going to need to be able to do is go to the installation page of how to install the Ocarina of Time hacks. Uh, that will be in the description as well, but it is github at yellows8 and is the boot 3D hacks. And just scroll down to the installation section here is what we're going to be going over. I want to give credit as well to JJ Tappa who also helped me with figuring this out. Uh, he does have his own page up on gbatemp.net. And I do also want to apologize in advance. This is not something I do often. I do apologize for the lower quality of the video. I will be giving you all the information that I do currently have accessible. I would also follow at Smealum. He will also be po he also posts it, uh, updates, tips, whatever you may need uh, for the future. Uh, I'm going to date this December 7th when I'm making this video. What I'm currently using is what I am told is the latest version of the Dotel Power Saves Doggle, and I am writing raw file onto the Doggle since I have no other way into Homebrew. So if you don't have another way into Homebrew at this time, this is the way to do it. So we're going to be going through it step by step, and it is a little confusing, so I will go through it as easily as I can. So basically, the raw saved data is going to be overwritten, and you will make the hack run onto this save. So the first thing you have to do is step one, backing up the game card save data with power saves. What this means is if you have any data on Ocarina of Time and something that you want to play, have intent to play or have already played, you will have to delete the data you have on there. Make it a, a clean slate. So you will lose the data, and once you install this, it will not be able to run. If you have Ironfall or Cubic Ninja, you can use the Ocarina of Time hacks to get into Homebrew again since the 10.3 update, and this will allow you back into homebrew to reinstall those applications and you can take this off at a later time. So going into the power saves here, just click the backup button. It does not matter what you name it as. I'm just going to name it boot 3D. Click OK. It will create a file. What you need to do is go to the power saves directory. This will be in, I'm going to also show it here in C or wherever you have it saved. It should be under C for everybody here. C, users, your username to the computer, and then power saves 3D. So it will save here. It'll have some funky name, but don't worry about that. Right now, we will come back to that. And the next thing you have to do is copy the save image file you have selected from the save images power saves directory and the release archive is described above to this power saves 3ds directory. Now this was the most confusing step for me and I'm going to show you very easily how I did it. What you're going to do is go to the github to also get the boot 3d hacks raw save images and you get the payloads. Now what this will save as is in this directory you will have two different card IDs. If you do not know what your card ID is, then you can very simply just install one of these application or one of these file direct subdirectories. And if the data corrupts, you will see that when you go to boot the game, then just install from the other file. I had to use the C2F starting personally, and that's what worked for me, so I'm going to open that one here. And then select your region for everyone that is on the 10.3, you should be using the post5u235552. 
you will also find this by using if you go to this link here and the at the bottom of the paragraph of the application page on the other apps section of the homebrew assistant launcher then that will also allow you to take the template from that and use whichever save file that you need. For me, it is the post uh, post five underscore u underscore two thirty five 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 two in the U.S. and ending in ninety two twenty one. What you're going to do is go back over to your 3ds saves. You're going to copy this file onto the directory of the Power Saves 3DS. So just paste it on to the front here. You're going to rename this. It does not matter. I'm sorry. It does not matter what you rename this to. So you can call it whatever you would like. You're going to take, rename this file now you don't need to add the dot bin at the end. You're just going to copy that name. That's the most important part is copying the name of that file and renaming this one as well. You're going to rename that and the original file you had that was the post 5 u Go back in and change that to the name that it was originally from the power saves. So what you what you've done here is this post 5u or whatever it would be u r k that has changed to the file that was now originally the power save. I'm going to go back into power saves and restore it from here. What that will allow you to do or what that has allowed you to do is you've now added the hack payload onto your Ocarina of Time game card. All you have to do from here is insert the cartridge into your 3DS and you will immediately go into the homebrew launcher once you have interacted with anything on the screen. For me, I just started in front of Link's bed, went to the window behind it, and click the A button. So that is all you have to do. The first save slot should be saved as hacks with stars going off of the screen and then press A, do anything to trigger display of dialogues or press any button to the touch screen. Anything from the view, map, nothing none of that will trigger will trigger the actual effect. I hope that this video helped anybody and anybody out there and anyone with more prowess than me that can make a much better video I definitely encourage it because I don't have the greatest voice I do stutter a lot and I deeply apologize for the lower quality of the video this is not something I do often but I did want to at least make something to help everyone out here if you have any questions feel free to ask me or definitely go check out anyone from the GBA temp forms. All of them were extremely helpful in helping me figure this out. Again, JJ Tappa 19 was helping me figure this out. Or follow at Smealum, and you will get also updates from him as well. Thank you so much, and enjoy the rest of your day. At the time of this recording, have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.